Hello, my name is Justin from Sea Choice, and today I'll be installing our heavy duty drop leg trailer jack. Um, I'm currently replacing the drop leg trailer jack that I have on now uh, because it's rusted. Uh, it really needs to be changed. I've actually lost the bottom piece completely. Um, and so for safety purposes, uh, I'll be putting in ours. Uh, I chose this, uh, this trailer jack because I have a fairly large boat. It's a 31 foot boat um, on a approximately 33 foot trailer. And this particular jack has the weight capacity to bear uh, this large of a boat. Um, so when you're thinking about installing a trailer jack, um, you want to think about how much weight do you have combined between your trailer and your boat. For mine, that's about uh, 10,000 pounds, give or take a little bit. Okay, and somewhere between 5 and 10% of that weight is what your tongue weight will be, which is what your trailer jack needs to be able to bear. Uh, so for me, that's somewhere around 1,000 pounds. Okay, this heavy duty trailer jack's able to take withstand up to 2,500 pounds, uh, which is way more than enough uh, than I need uh, to make sure that I'm safely raising and lowering the boat. Uh, also worth mentioning, um, the previous trailer jack that was on here is the same capacity. Um, so I know that I'm, that I'm operating within safe limits, which is always the, 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 uh, the priority. So as you can see here, this is my old trailer jack. Okay, it's got rust on the bottom. I actually have a foot missing. There's an entire section that's supposed to be down here that, that holds the thing stable. Uh, right now I've got, I'm using wood to support it to make sure it can get up to my hitch. Um, so it really needs to be replaced. This isn't the safest option. Um, the first step in, in this process is making sure you have a safe place to work. Okay, so I have this hooked up, as you can see here, to my truck. Um, the truck is going to provide stability to the to the trailer while I'm working on the jack to make sure it doesn't fall over. Um, I highly recommend you use this method or if you have a, another kind of jack you can use in its stead. Uh, either one will work, but this is the safest option. So we'll go ahead and remove these nuts here uh, and just go ahead and take it off. Pretty simple removal process. For things like this, when you're removing uh, nuts that have been on there for a while, you can see there's a little rust on these. Um, just over time, that happens from get going in and out of salt water. Um, so for two days prior to us doing this, uh, I treated these with a little bit of PB blaster. Um, so if you have any corrosion that's holding it on there, uh, you won't have to worry about it. Give that time to sink into the threads and, and really loosen things up. Now that we've removed those, Simply going to remove the U-bolts. Number one. Number two. All right, so now we have the old one off. You can see here how, how in poor condition that is. Um, and so we'll get on some, the C-Choice version and, and uh, get it looking brand new. So as you can see here, I have the uh, C-Choice heavy duty uh, drop leg trailer jack. Um, as you can see, this is what the other one should have looked like. It's got a nice big foot on it for stability. Okay, and it's got a couple holes in here which will actually help it drain water, um, which would be really nice. Uh, this previous one actually held a bunch of salt water in the foot and that's what, it, that's what caused it to rust out. Um, so this one we're gonna install pretty similar to the one we just took off. Okay, I'm gonna first adjust it to the correct height to make sure that it aligns uh, well with, with my trailer, right? And then we're gonna go ahead and bolt it on, uh, very similar to how we took the other one off. So we're gonna go ahead and just drop the leg here. We have a quick release pin here, very easy to get out. Okay, I'm gonna put up a couple notches here. Put it back in. And clip it right back on. So when this comes out of the box, to, for it to fit in the box, they have the handle on uh, facing the inside direction or for it to work and operate you have to change the handle around. Okay. Okay, I'm using here a 5 8 inch wrench. Nice and snug now. All right. So now I'm just gonna raise this up to the correct height for us to put this on. All right, so as you can see here, I've got, got it centered up. Um, right on these two holes. So that's where we'll be connecting our brackets to. Instead of using U-bolts like we had last time, these actually have brackets that come with them and four uh, bolts that come with them, okay? Um, one more worth noting here, we're gonna put the top side through this top piece, okay? Um, and that's because, as you can see here, this has one top hole and a couple bottom holes, 
All right, so we, we have to make sure we get through that one. So this one will be the top for me. This one's first one's on. I'm gonna loose fit everything first before I tighten anything down. Okay, now that we've got everything kind of loose fit on here, I'm gonna work on tightening these down. I'm gonna do it in a star pattern uh, just to make sure we don't throw anything too far off. I've got two 17 millimeter wrenches here. Okay, I'm gonna take it nice and slow. And the reason why I'm doing it this way is to make sure we get a nice even uh, tightening on here without doing the top too tight first and making the, the jack sit one direction or the other. So we've, we've completed installing this. Okay, I'll check to make sure all these bolts are tight. Okay, and as you can see, this thing is really easy to operate. Very smooth, very, very smooth. And then when I'm ready to go, just simply take the pin out Move this up, slide it back in, and I'm ready to go. Thanks for watching.